Hello YouTubers, Pancake, Joshua Swan Group Build Update and General Napoleonic Update. Um, two companies done, another two done now. Yay, I've been away. I've come back, I've got these two done since I've been back. And I've kind of rushed these two a bit, so they're not as good as the other ones. These are the Warlord Games ones. Um, they're alright. I mean, some of my stuff I painted is quite good, and some of the stuff I painted ain't very good at all. So it, it depends on what mood I'm in and how fast I want to get it done. Um, another company, Grenadier, has done, apart from the base, which uh, I should finish off tomorrow. My last company on here to do, but need uh, priming up and everything. A friend gave me a little Pearl Knight Drummer Boy. British. Good cheers for that, Bob. Got a load of stuff from Perry. Some Every Dragoons, Six Panners, some Officers, and some Tag Alongs and stuff. Just to stick on the command bases, you know. Make them look fancy. And these are Perry. And I kind of like this Fusol. Like standing on a drum. Which is cool. This guy's got a massive plume on his hat. Two more. And a big great coat, raincoat over his shoulder. This guy pointing. Yeah, probably giving orders. And this one. Like a dragoon officer pondering. Battle plans. As with all Paris stuff, you get these cracking little boxes. Uh, these are just some uh, French officers that I've ordered. Um, dragoons, basically every dragoons, king's dragoons. Uh, more or less like that. But I do like the Perry horses because they are actually like horses. Mm, I've had uh, a couple of horses from another company and they look like sausage dogs. Now, that's just strange, they're not very nice at all. So I kind of I quickly got rid of those. Um, went to Calvier Books and picked up some more box sets. Box sets? Boxes and miniatures, should I say. First up, I've got these, more British Warlord line infantry. Some more Hanoverian line. I'm going to do them as um, Giffon, Landver. So that'll be two lots of Landver I've got. Perry French, which are always nice. And Perry British, which are always nice. Uh, the flag did come for those uh, Hanoverians of the day. GMB designs for your flags. Very nice. Not cheap. I think that was. I think they're three pound fifty. I mean, it's only paper printed, but it, it is nice, and the, the way that they shaded and how you know. Get, looks like they've got ripples in it. Once you PVA them and you bend them, like they're in the wind and sh shit like that. Not really nice. Um, another note, as Nick has uh, already uh, shouted upon, Wall of Games Illustrated, British Legion. There are lots of stuff on World War One and uh, Battlefront miniatures. But what interested me, I mean I always pick it up, but what interested me this month and the next few months they're going to be doing lots of articles on uh, Waterloo and this, 100 days, quarter bra. It's got lots and lots of articles and stuff on it on uh, you know, maps about quarter bra and the generals and the uh, regiments and stuff that were there. And it's got a nice... Uh, Big bow report as well. Lots of pictures. 
And you can see that lots of pictures of lovely minis. It's good read actually as well. Um, there's plenty of other articles in here as well. So, oh, and they've got all the um, what's the from salute the winners, the painting competition, which always makes me sick because they're fantastic. Um, part two of me group build me seven foot by five foot board. Uh, purchased the baseboards for me um, top layer of styrene and whatnot to go on. I just got to pick some of that up uh, this coming week, and we were ready to rock and roll on that. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.